Today in the news, we got Fortnite. Yep, and some AMD and Nintendo. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. So, the GPU market got a whole lot more interesting with the reveal of the new RTX 3000 series, but it's been pretty much radio silence for the red team, aside from uh, a single emoji tweeted by the CVP and GM at AMD, Scott Herkelman. Well, today we got another tiny little nugget that really doesn't mean anything, but at least it's something. In Fortnite, yes, really, Fortnite, AMD created a few maps for people to play and possibly win a main gear PC. In one of those maps, there's a phone. Answering that phone takes you to a parkour area with a code lock at the end. If you enter 6000 in that dial, you'll get a prompt that says, something big is coming to the AMD battle arena. That 6000 number, coupled with the something big text, is probably a hint at the uh, upcoming RX 6000 series from the red team. The part where it says it's coming to the AMD battle arena though, that's a little bit concerning. Is AMD really going to do their grand reveal of the RX 6000 series in Fortnite? In any case, Frank Azor, also from AMD, tweeted out right under your noses. Got to wonder what else we've already put out there that you just haven't discovered yet. I tried to go into AMD's battle arena, but I'm so out of touch with Fortnite that I can't even figure out how to enter the map. Talk about getting old. Now, if you're still here, even though we've talked about Fortnite for a minute, let's talk about rumors. Cortex over on Twitter received a tip from an AMD partner, and it's pretty juicy. Now, as with any leaks slash rumors that come from Twitter, we need to take it with a pretty big grain of salt. I mean, Ampere was okay with clocks, VRAM, and uh, the type of VRAM being accurate, but even manufacturers got the last second switcheroo on process node and CUDA cores. So, that leak. An AIB partner told Cortex some information about a Navi card. Is it big Navi or a cut down version? We don't know, but we have VRAM and prices here. The specific RDNA 2 card would have 16 gigabytes of VRAM at $599. After the Ampere announcement though, the partner is expecting the price point of that card to drop to $549. Another little bit of information is the fact that the partners are actually starting to receive the GPU chips and the memory chips this month. This 16 gigabyte card would be marketed to compete with the 3070. He also said that there are no HBM models planned. I mean, AMD hasn't even finalized the specs for their cards, and honestly, I'm pretty sure that their launch window extends well into 2021. This means we'll maybe see two cards later this year, and the rest sprinkled into 2021. So keep that salt ready for uh, the next few months. And if you can wait until the end of the year, I'd say wait, because after release, Ampere is probably going to be super scarce. Also, I'll be real, I'm all about the price to performance. If AMD can provide RTX 2080 Ti performance with more VRAM than the RTX 3070, but at the same price, or same VRAM, but with a, let's say, $50 price cut, that's where I'm going. Next up, let's talk games. It looks like Nintendo is going all out for Mario's 35th anniversary. Not only are they going to milk old games to death, but there are also some new stuff. First, the milk. So, a new game collection is coming out with the three best Mario 3D games from over the years. You get Super Mario 64 with a much higher resolution, but it's still in 4x3. You get Mario Sunshine, my personal all-time favorite. It gets a slight redesign for 16x9 gameplay and a higher resolution. And lastly, Super Mario Galaxy. I wonder how Nintendo will adapt to the limitations of the Switch though. Super Mario Galaxy is obviously a Wii mode game, so you're going to have to use either the touchscreen or the motion controls on the uh, Joy-Cons, and a key showcase for Mario Sunshine was the control of Flood through the pressure-sensitive triggers on the GameCube controller. So yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Also, in the milk, I should stop saying that, an enhanced version of 3D World is coming out with what is essentially an expansion called Bowser's Fury. So what's actually brand new? Well, you can buy a Game & Watch handheld that plays Super Mario or Game & Watch, and it also acts as a clock. 
that's something that you want. And there's also a toy cart with augmented reality features that allows you to turn your room into a Mario Kart track. Seriously, Nintendo and their gimmicks, it's just next level. Lastly, they are releasing a limited time event on their Nintendo Switch Online service. It's called Super Mario 35, a race slash battle royale that's not only similar to Mario Royale, which was taken down, but it also borrows a lot from Tetris 99. What do you guys think? You're gonna pay again for a game that you bought uh, 10 years ago? Let me know down below. And that is pretty much it for the catch up guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.